I've arrived here in Surrey at a uh, clandestine RV to meet the funky prepper and uh, another chap. We've been here before. It's a real slog to get into the forest, um, really steep, especially with a uh, heavy pack. But um, once you're up there, the ground kind of uh, falls away and it's um, fairly flat. I'm sure he's found us a peachy little spot. This is me turning up about four hours, four or five hours after everybody else. I had a few uh, jobs I had to get done today. But uh, the fun starts here. Come with me. So this is what I was talking about in the car park. That's a big slog up that hill. Then once you're up, <laughs> it flattens down a bit. <laughs> but uh, it's a little bit steeper than I remember it. And uh, this pack of mine, uh, I think it's got some uh, extra, extra super comforts in it. But let's bang out the rest of this hill. Wow, how cool was that? There was about three or four deer that just walked right past the camp, probably uh, 20 or 30 metres outside of the woodland and uh, just uh, tiptoed along following them for three or four hundred metres but um, that was great, you know, I could hear probably mum calling them in the background, that was that kind of heavy um, kind of barking sound in the background but uh, how cool was that so dinner's Uncle Ben's rice and chicken tikka masala and it's going to be lush there's an awful lot of food in that mug and it's all mine so packet of uh, Uncle Ben's rice and some chicken tikka and the world's a beautiful place. This mug is uh, more than enough food to fill me up for the evening. Going into the nighttime routine now, so all my kit's packed away. The only thing I've got left out is a flask and the sleeping bag that I'm gonna be sleeping in. Um, got about another hour and a half of daylight. Um, we've been really fortunate since I've been here. I was stalking some deer earlier and there was a, a deer that I followed for sort of two or 300 meters. And, it met up with uh, a couple of other small deer and I could hear mum barking, um, sort of calling in the background because she obviously knew that we were in the woods and um, uh, there's a little bit of footage of that. As you can hear I'm in the woods with some company, uh, Russ is here, uh, Funky Prepper of course, Pete Mime Wiseman aka Maverick Outdoors. This is our kind of um, annual meet up in this particular woodland. The guys have been here since 11.30 this morning really. I rocked up about half past four or five o'clock. Um, got in, make myself comfortable. I've literally just set up my big tarp, put my sleeping bag and my Thermo Rest mat into my uh, Gore-Tex um, bivy bag. Head on my Bergen and that's how I'll be sleeping tonight. So no um, you know, amazing, weird and wonderful setups. Very simple move into the woods, set a simple system up, and that's it. The guys are sort of collecting firewood and um, organizing a little bit of a fire for later. So uh, you might get a little bit of uh, film of that, uh, an invitation. But uh, that's it really, you know, going into the nighttime routine. If possible, I'll be sharing a little bit of that with you. But for now, oh, let's enjoy dinner. Not the greatest thing I've ever cooked, but um, very, very tasty. Well, all 
morning everybody. <clears throat> right, going to get a uh, warm jacket out of my um, pack. It's not particularly cold, but, you know, a bit of a chill. So, um, uh, put a warm jacket on just until I get up and about and uh, get myself a little bit warm. Going to get some uh, breakfast on. Going to have a uh, kind of chocolate porridge this morning. And uh, I'll set that up while the old um, water's bo boiling for the porridge. I'll um, do my ablutions once we've got... Uh, breakfast out of the way, it will be kind of strike camp, get piped, get packed up and um, uh, ready to go if and when we decide to, but um, probably going to have another couple of showers I suppose over the next couple of hours, so I guess the last thing that I'll be taking down is the old, is the old tarp, so at least I've got somewhere to shelter if we do have a downpour, but uh, waking up in the woods has been absolutely brilliant. Um, great company, a little campfire, uh, just what the doctor ordered, so um, uh, seize the day, let's get a bit of breakfast on and uh, share that with you. <coughs> wow, okay, so here goes a bit of breakfast, going to use a hexamine cooker with the old uh, hexamine blocks. This is my kind of fire lighting kit really, but in here I make my own, um, I don't know if people would call it sort of cotton wool balls, but what this is is, this is uh, fluff out of your dryer at home. I prime it with a little bit of Vaseline and that's my sort of immediate fire lighter if you like. So once I've got that lit then I'm not kind of messing around with matches or lighters and then I can kind of get my hexamine blocks on it. Sparks up pretty quickly as you can see. Now that just gives me a few minutes to sort out the rest of my fuel from my burner. The other thing I carry in here is just a kind of broken couple of broken bits of hexamine left over from maybe the last time I used it sort of thing. And, uh, that'll be the basis of my uh, fuel for my breakfast meal. What I'm going to do is sort of three quarters fill this uh, cup. This is going to be my porridge. I'm going to sort of semi bring that to the boil. Just got some good old fashioned porridge oats. With some of them in there. a little bit of um, powdered milk. What I do is just vac seal these but inside the bag what I've put is a clip so once I open the bag I've actually got a clip to kind of reseal it with. Let me show you that. There we are, that's what I'm talking about. So just a vac sealed bag. I've put the clip inside the bag knowing that when I open the bag I've got to be able to reseal it again and uh, this is just powdered milk. Just going to zip the corner off of the bag. Don't need to open the whole thing up. Now, if we get the clip out, we've got something to reseal the bag with. There you go, so that's not going to go everywhere in our kit now. So, porridge oats, powdered milk. Got a couple of choices really. I've got some uh, mixed fruit, which is um, rocket fuel for humans. I really like this as a sort of power trail snack. But you could, um, you know, just bash up a, a handful of it and put it in your porridge. What I'm going to do 
is I'm going to uh, put a Mars bar in. So this is a sort of uh, caramel toffee chocolate bar. Goes in the porridge, gives you a nice sweet, um, chocky sort of toffee flavoured porridge first thing in the morning. There's about um, probably 350, 400 calories in this um, breakfast porridge. So that's more than enough to uh, get you on the go, along with a uh, nice cup of tea at the flask from last night. Mate, that's, part, that's um, breakfast on. Okay, so that's our chocolate on. We're just waiting for the porridge to warm up before I put my uh, chocolate bar in. Chocolate bar will melt. That will give us a nice uh, toffee chocolate porridge. <coughs> wow, so there's the uh, chocolate porridge I was telling you about. Looking good. Just going to reduce it down just a little bit more cup of tea mate that's breakfast so this is the uh, low calorie sugar free porridge and with the old kind of chocolate bar in it like I say it's probably about uh, chocolate bar on its own 250 calories I reckon we're looking at a breakfast here of about 400 with a cup of tea that's got to be um, more than enough to kind of put you on the feet and uh, get you out there to seize the day breakfast people in the woods what could be simpler mm. mate how bad's that so as promised i just talk you through my sleep system i mean this is my uh, gore-tex bivy bag that i put the panel in the front just to make it uh, super grand uh, just like my good self got my four season sleeping bag inside only use a four season sleeping bag Last night it was uh, very mild, so what I've done is just um, slept with it open. Got in this kind of Gore-Tex bag, slept on top of the sleeping bag, and was absolutely peachy. First thing in the morning, all I did was sort of drag the sides over me, really, and that was that. Underneath that, I've got my three-quarter length inflatable mattress, and that's my kind of sleep system. Just about to break it down, put it in the bottom uh, pouch of my... Bergen and that's me but uh, really quick really simple straightforward and um, I'm pretty sure that system will will uh, fix me all year round Again, the homemade uh, tarp has uh, been brilliant, no leaks, um, good as gold, nice and tight with the kind of trucker's hitches and just retained with a little twig, a little peg, you know, really straightforward. Uh, great tarp, really pleased with it. It is heavy, it weighs eight pounds, so you've got to be prepared to kind of lug it in. But once you've got it in and set it up, you're not going to have a problem with staying dry at all. Really pleased with it still. Um, this is probably... 10, 12 times I've taken it out now, been as good as gold. Cost me 38 pounds to make. How's that? Bargain. Okay, so this is where I had my basher. The obvious, you know, take your rubbish home, try to leave no trace. It just means that um, yourself and other people will be welcome back next time. So this was Funky Preppers uh, setup. This is the kind of MOD uh, insect net with a tarp over the top. I've used this system before and it's been uh, absolutely peachy. I think this time of year it's all that's required. It was really mild last night, can't say it was cold, but um, great little setup. I've used it before uh, this time of the year, perfect. Okay, this is Pete at the Cafe de Paris. Uh, <laughs> 24 hours later he's still cooking his uh,
could on blur uh, breakfast and uh, mate I never known a man eat like it uh, especially he's nowhere near as big as me it's <laughs> there's no justice uh, this is Pete's kind of standard setup uh, pretty much as this uh, most times when he goes out and uh, trying and tested but uh, works for him mate it'll work for you uh, Pete Wiseman everybody We've had another night in the woods, so Russ has just left. Uh, myself, uh, the legend that is Funky Prepper, and Pete Mine Wiseman, aka Maverick Outdoors. We've had a uh, ball hanging out with like minded people and a little bit of a chillax. From me, as always, any comments? Love to hear them back soon. Cheers. Stay funky. Cheers, and people. Cheers. See you next time. <laughs>